Finally, we're seeing Star Trek Picard Season 3 teaser trailers, showing us the content we've been looking for. Seriously, this season is looking fantastic. We know it's the third and final season of Star Trek Picard. The good news is it will be releasing on February 16th, 2023. So let's break down the teaser trailer, which has some big reveals you don't want to miss. Engage. Welcome to Trek Central, I'm your host Captain Jack and make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're super close to 100,000 total subscribers here on the YouTube channel and I think we should do a big giveaway when we hit it just for you guys. Now, as a quick heads up, if you want to watch the full trailer, I can't show it to you because Paramount are unfortunately a bit too OTT with copyright. Click the link down below in the video description to head to our website and then come back here as I'm going to break it down and tell you what you missed and what it means, as well as some details you don't know from the trailer. So, our first look is at a new class of starship, which almost looks like a steam runner in appearance, but not precisely. It's being seen being surrounded by a new unknown alien ship, the possible threat of Season 3, and even possibly more connected to the Transwarp Conduit opened in the finale of Season 2, for those of you who remember. This new alien starship has an orange glow, and looks almost insectoid or reptilian, but most definitely a new ship we've not seen before in Star Trek. Now some Twitter users are saying to us this looks like an Alachi figure from Star Trek Online. I'm not sure personally, however there is a possibility this is Star Trek after all. The next shot is possibly even of the new alien race, who start to click, holding guns in the dark in this weird location. The brief glimpses of their face we see reminds me of a Turin's and Mass Effect. If you know who they are, let me know in the comments as I love you even more. They seem to be coming to a storage bay, but who else is there? Dr. Beverly Crusher. It seems she's out in the galaxy, possibly even being hunted by this new foe. Perhaps she's discovered them and they aren't ready to be discovered yet. I do wonder if this is her ship they're boarding. Beverly does have a phaser rifle at her disposal, and I have to say, it's nice to see Beverly carrying a phaser rifle. It's just nice to look at, and I kind of maybe just answer my own question about this being her ship. If she has the rifle in a storage bay, it's probably her ship. Then later on we do see the ship again, but this time it's being escorted by the alien ships, with one of them attached to a rear connecting to the strut of a ship. Perhaps this alien foe will use the ship to get past Earth's defences to attack Earth. More on this in a second. Anyway, we cut to a scene we've seen before, of Picard opening up his TNG uniform box because the Starfleet comm badge is chirping. We discover why, because Beverly sends a stress signal to Picard's old comm badge, saying, we need your help. Though who we is might be not known yet. Perhaps it's a planet Beverly's on or something, and a new foe has maybe attacked it. We've also explored the theory that Picard might have a secret child with Dr. Crusher. During press for San Diego Comic Con, both Gates McFadden and Sir Patrick Stewart tease the relationship between the characters, but it's changed. Also, they've not seen each other for 20 years. Perfect time to hide a kid, might I say. That sounds weird, you get what I meant. The next scene we see is striking. We can see what looks to be some city, perhaps on Earth, with a Starfleet building. Perhaps a new Starfleet headquarters building or something. Anyway, it's being attacked by a beam. The beam seems to cut a hole around the building, causing it to collapse in on itself. This is troubling, because the last time Earth got attacked was during the Dominion War from the Breen Confederacy. This is when they hit Starfleet Academy and Headquarters, causing massive amounts of damage. Only then has Earth been attacked. But to attack it like this, seemingly so easy, says a lot about the strength of our new foe. Weirdly, if you look closely, you can see a TOS era shuttlecraft parked on the landing pad. Either this is a holding VFX asset, or might point a clue to this building. Then again, Star Trek Picard used Discovery shuttles in 2399, so anything is possible it would seem. Jean-Luc Picard says he needs to find a ship, seemingly very similar to Season 1. Though I'm assuming this mission is more of a rogue mission than Starfleet denying him the assets for the mission itself. There is a small shot of this seedy city, which I can't imagine is Earth, and since Picard is meeting Riker later on, perhaps this is a meeting point between Earth and the Penthe. The Penthe being where Riker previously was, and perhaps where Picard and Riker are meeting. We were told during the Star Trek Day panel that Star Trek Picard will be looking at the seedy underbelly of the galaxy, so perhaps this could be showing that. Perhaps a planet ruled by the Orion Syndicate. That would be a nice little touch. This might be the focus of Raffi this season, working in the criminal underbelly to assist our gang in dealing with this new threat. Raffi used to work as an intelligence officer when she was previously in Starfleet, so she would have the expertise to work wonders in this field. 
Now, in one of the most amazing shots of the trailer, we see the 25th century Earth space dock, which has been upgraded since the last time we saw it. Instead of a single mushroom cloud dome, it now has additional domes connecting to it. The car says to Riker, now I can't ask to put yourself in danger, to which Riker hilariously replies, since when? I have to say I'm looking forward to seeing more Riker in Season 3, and his interaction with Picard. We get a little bit of this in Season 1, but I'm sure there'll be a lot more good stuff in Season 3. John the Freaks has teased it's not going to be all fine and dandy of both of the characters, therefore we might see things getting heated in the upcoming season. We have heard suggestions that there is a heated exchange between the pair. That's something to look forward to. Just as 7 of 9 welcomes Admiral Picard and Mr. Riker aboard the new starship, it's revealed what ship this is. Welcome to the USS Titan A. Commander 7 of 9 appears to be in command of a Neo Constitution class Titan. What this means for Riker's original USS Titan, the Lunar class 1, is currently unknown, but I'm sure I'll find out when the time is right, i.e. during season 3. New Constitution class looks very much like a model made by Bill Krauss, who made the ship models for the Stargazer bridge of all USS Stargazers. It's an amazing looking ship with all the details, and just in general, the silhouette is amazing. I'm not too personally sure on this yet, I would like to see the Lunar class, but I'll buy into it just so far. Terry, you better surprise me. The Titan's bridge is a redress of a USS Stargazer from Picard Season 2. Trek Central initially reported on the USS Titan appearing in Star Trek Picard due to Jonathan Frakes leaking it via DVD BTS thing for Lower Decks. Thanks Jonathan. The three officers take their seats as Seven Line gives the word, engage, and the Titan departs Space Dock. We get a few VFX shots of the ship leaving Space Dock, but nothing too much to currently give us a massive amount of information or detail. It seems Terry Matalas and the crew behind the card don't want too many spoilers. Oh well. Though it also seems that not only they are Earth Space Dock, but also around Luna, there is another orbital facility looking very much like Jupiter Station in design, which is neat. By the shipyard, we can all see what looks to be a Sagan class starship, with only its top nacelles. They agree to add some variety to the 25th century fleet by taking some of the ships we saw in Season 2 and just editing them a bit. Star Trek's famous for this after all. While we only get Crusher, Picard and Riker, the other cast are teased in the trailer. We see Michelle Hurd as Raffi in some shady background area, perhaps on the criminal underworld. We also see LeVar Burton as Joy de la Forge and he can be seen in his Starfleet uniform. From his background, he's either on board the Titan A or perhaps another Starfleet vessel. Maybe an Enterprise. Crusher can be seen once again in what looks like a Wrath of Khan style coat. Maybe she's preparing for an away mission, or just gotten back from one. Mr. Worf can be seen holding someone up. Now what's interesting about Worf's subtleties is you can see someone's hair on his arm. Perhaps this is Raffi. Those two working together would be an interesting mix. Diana Troy can be seen sitting in a chair, on board what is likely the USS Titan. She is maybe returned to her counselor roots and helping either Jean-Luc or someone else for a tough time. Finally, the teaser Picard and Riker aboard the Federation shuttle, just as they venture around the inside of Earth's space dock. It almost looks like a Starship Museum right about now. So this is a short teaser trailer for Star Trek Picard Season 3. It gives us a taste of what we can expect from the upcoming third season. However, there is no major plot revealed in this trailer. Yes, we can see Picard getting a new ship with Commander 7 of 9 and Mr. Riker, but we haven't seen many other TNG cast members actually doing anything. We get a bit of Crusher and the plot reveals she might have come under attack of our unknown aliens. I'm curious what this all happened to her and what it's about. It's got to be something that shakes her, given she contacts Jean-Luc after almost 20 years of not seeing each other. This has to be a big issue to make someone want to do that. We have to look at our new threat, a threat to even Earth, one of the most protected places in the galaxy. And we have our next generation crew getting back together for one last hurrah, along with Raffi and Seven. To do what they do best, and save the day in the Star Trek universe. Oh, by the way, I am 100% convinced I found an Odyssey-class starship in the Picard trailer. Yeah, call me crazy, but it does look like one. It's likely a Sovereign class, or perhaps the Excelsior 2 class we see in Season 2. Regardless, get excited for Picard Season 3. It arrives February 16th, 2023. So what do you think of Star Trek Picard Season 3's trailer for Star Trek Day? Has it gotten you excited for the third season, or are you still on the fence about the return of a next generation cast? Let us know what you think in the video comment section below. If you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media or join our community Discord server. But for now, I've been Captain Jack, 
Live long and prosper, my friends, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.